Guys, welcome back again to my channel. So, bago tayo mag-start, gusto ko po muna magbigay ng shoutout sa aking mga classmates and friends. So, shoutout kay AJ, kay Patdu, kay Aaron, kay May, kay Lizzie. And maraming maraming salamat din po sa mga nag-support and share ng aking video. Gaya nga nang sabi ko last time, itatake natin yung mga modify tool na madalas na gamitin when creating a project. So, first we have the move tool. Pansin nyo guys, kapag pinost natin yung cursor mouse natin, is nagpapakita siya ng short video insights kung paano ito gamitin. So, if we click this command, then we select the element, is hindi natin siya maiilipat agad. Ay, lobat na ako. So, hindi natin siya maiilipat agad because Revit wants to finish first the selection bago natin ma-perform yung certain command. So, what we are going to do is either right-click the element and then select the finish selection or hit the enter or space key. So, you can move anywhere depending sa distance na gusto mo. But, for example, gusto ko siyang i-move with the same distance katulad itong nasa ibaba. So, ang gagawin natin is to snap from here to there. So, what if pala na-realize ko na masyado siyang malayo? Click ulit natin yung command. But this time, hindi niya na tayo nire-request to finish the selection. Kasi, it was already selected. Unlike po kanina na nauna nating sinelect yung command before the element. So, you can snap anywhere. Then, type your desired distance. For example, 1,500. So, meron naman tayong copy. So, it works almost di it works almost the same katulad ng ating move tool pero kinakapin niya yung ating original element. So, what if pala is gusto kong itong wall na to is ilipat ko siya banda dito sa baba. Pwede ba natin gamitin yung move tool? Yes po, but pansinin niyo to guys. If I click if I click the move command and then in adjust ko siya dito sa baba, what will happen is nag-extend lang po yung ating wall and still attach pa rin siya sa ating another wall. And hindi naman po iyon yung gusto nating mangyari. So, control Z muna tayo, undo. So, click the element, select the move tool, then click this join. So, yeah, ganito po ang mangyayari. Hindi na po siya naka-attach sa wall, unlike kanina. And we have the rotate command. So, si rotate command natin is we need to uh, click on the first point. And kung mapapansin nyo, is nagbibigay po siya ng um, angle. So, for example, gusto ko siyang i-rotate with an angle of 45 degree. So, just press 45 and hit enter. And then, kung gusto, di, pwede nyo rin po siyang i-edit dito. So, balik natin siya. Negative 45. Then, we have the trim or extend command. So, yung ating trim and extend command po is a dual purpose. So, for example, gusto kong itong wall na to is may extend hanggang dito. So, select the element so, we have the two options. Either we drag the wall hanggang dito, which takes time, or use the shortcut TR for trim and extend. So, na-extend na po yung ating wall. And another one is gusto ko naman tanggalin itong part na ito. Gusto kong i-trim yung part na ito. So, we select this wall and then this wall. So, na-trim yung part na gusto nating tanggalin. So, ang tanong po is paano nalalaman ni Revit kung gusto nating i or i-trim yung isang element. So, if we pay attention on the lower part ng ating status bar, ang sabi po dyan, eh, hindi lang po ganong kita sa kanang buo. So, ang sabi dyan is click on the part you want to keep. So, what we, 
so if I click this part and then this wall what will happen is matitira itong part na to and then the other side is matitrim so we also have the offset tool so yung offset tool natin is para lang din siyang um, copy command but in this case we have to set the specific offset distance so for example we need an offset of 2000 so notice notice guys that these broken lines notice guys that it, these broken lines indicates kung saan kung saan side mapupunta yung ating offset so, if we move closely to the left side, mapupunta siya sa ating left side. And if we move closely to the right side, dun siya mapupunta. And we have the align tool. We have the align tool. So, ang ginagawa po ni align tool is pinagpapantay niya yung ating selected element. So, for example, gusto kong itong wall ko na to is kapantay niya tong nandito. So, first, we click the reference or yung pagbabasihan natin and then we click this element. So, ganun po siya. For example, ito rin. Yeah. And then, meron naman tayo ditong mirror. We have two types of mirror which are the pick axis and the draw axis. So, si pick axis po, ang ginagawa niya is nire-reverse niya yung position ng ating selected elements using the existing line or edge as a mirror axis. So, for example, gusto kong itong wall ko nito is um, i-copy ko siya banda dito, banda dito. So, ang gagawin natin is click natin yung pick axis or MM for shortcut is kung mapapansin nyo, siya na po mismo yung naghahanap ng inyong reference point. Yan. While, yung ating um, draw axis is ikaw po mismo yung magguguhit kung, nasa, kung saan yung reference point mo. For example, dito, ayan, pagano, baling pala yung lalo ko. And guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It will help me out a lot para makapag-produce pa ng mga getting helpful videos. And please guys, don't hesitate to leave a comment for your suggestions.